Hey, this is Alex with Four and a Half. I have Joe with none other but Appfolio. Hey, Joe. Hey, Alex. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Awesome to have you. So we're going to talk about growing your property management business in terms of getting more properties under management. And Joe's going to talk at the PM Growth Summit, which is coming up on January 25th through 27th in 2017. But we're going to give you a little bit of a preview, give you a little bit of a taste on what... Uh, what his growth methods are. And you have little four methods, right, Joe? So what is the first way for owners to grow their portfolio? Yeah, so I've worked with a lot of property management companies over the years, and I've heard a lot of different ways companies differentiate their business. So the four ways that I hear most commonly, well, I guess the first one to answer your question is cost. Um, specifically, not just uh, how you set up your management fee, but more importantly, what you're actually providing for that management fee. I see. So can you elaborate on that a little bit? What are, what are some of the bad practices and some of the good practices there? Yeah, well, I would say the the biggest thing that I hear is not necessarily setting up a management fee in a way that's bad, but more importantly, focusing on just on the cost, actually. When you're talking to somebody who wants you to manage their property, they don't necessarily care that you're more expensive or less expensive than another property management company. They care about what you're actually doing to manage their property. So focusing less on the cost and actually taking a little bit of a right turn and focusing more on the value that you're providing. And that value could be almost anything. It's more important that you have value that you're presenting. So, so the truth of the matter is, uh, well, we say people, investors are cost sensitive because they're old numbers people and stuff like that. There's that, but also um, they do want you to, uh, as a property manager, to hear their problems to understand their concerns to be to be receptive so and for that I call it call it a discovery process is essential because mm -hmm. without you understanding deeply of what that customer or prospect cares about you're not gonna be able to connect with them so the only deciding factor is gonna be what the fee the fee is the only thing and you don't want you want to get away from that and to get away from that you have to do a proper discovery and spend some time actually listening and caring about the other person right yeah, and I'm actually really glad you brought that up because one part of my presentation is discussing four of those ways you can differentiate the business and, and one of those being cost. The second half of what I'm going to be talking about is really what is sales. How can you best present those four ways in a way that is going to be receptive? In a way that, like what you mentioned, if you know it's important to them, you're presenting that information in a way that's going to make them want to have you manage their property. So you have some real interesting, uh, I mean, really good sales experience, and you've went uh, reading your bio. You went from you know a salesperson in Appfolio to 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 you know uh, being the new salesperson to being the top salesperson. And Appfolio is a large company, so you know a thing or two about right about sales sales process. Uh, I would say I've done my best to absorb knowledge from the people around me. <laughs> Very good. See, and humble too. Very cool. So, Joe, give us another nugget, and the rest will be, you know, talked about at PM Growth Summit, but give us another nugget here of wisdom. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, and I, I get the question a lot, what led me to be a successful salesperson at Appfolio and kind of to work into now training other sales reps at Appfolio. One thing that I think makes my life a lot more fun and also made me successful is being really creative in the type of sales and just how I presented myself to property management companies. And I'm going to bring a little bit of a piece to that to my presentation, offer hopefully some really hard facts and hard um, changes that property management companies can make in their business that are really specific, that are creative, and will help them stand out a little bit more. Well, well, now I can't leave you with just that. I need, I need <laughs> to know, well, like, give me one creative, uh, give me one um, element of creativity that was useful in your sales career and how property managers can use the same thing. Yeah, I would say it's not very creative, but it's something that people don't do as much very often. But um, after every meeting, just write a handwritten note and send it to somebody as a thank you uh, or send it to them before the meeting. It's something that you don't see as often, but it makes you stand out. Um, less creative, but definitely something that people don't do these days that I think everyone should do. Oh, it, it's I, I think it's very creative uh, in a way that, well, creative and it, is, it's, it requires effort. So there's, uh, we're going to end with this. Okay, Joe. So here's the deal you have to be outside of your comfort zone to achieve something you have never achieved in the past and joe's going to talk about some of these things but don't think they're going to be those obvious 
you know, handouts of these easy things that you can just do, tweak, and then things will just start falling together for you. No, mm -mm. not going to happen, right? You got to do something that you haven't done before. You got to, you got to exit that comfort zone, walk into the unknown and be creative and what curious, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, slogan here at Folio is always stay curious. So yeah. I'm hoping to bring a little bit of that to the uh, property management world in, in January and in, in February or January in Florida. I'm yep. excited. For it. Yep. Yep. Sounds good, Joe. Well, it was a pleasure having you on and we'll see you all at the PM Growth Summit. Joe, thank you kindly for your time. Thanks so much, Alex. Have a good rest of your day.